Balancing Act. We're having some fun. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Today, the latest in breast implant technology, what all women need to be aware of. Plus, finding allergy-free options that taste great. You're going to be surprised because we've got something fantastic. And we all need to be aware when it comes to cyber thieves. They can steal our identity and so much more. We're going to see how one company can provide protection and peace of mind. And Ralph is in the kitchen multitasking. Today, we're multi-purposing with this handy-dandy multi-cooker, saving both time and energy, baby. Love having him, right? Love it. All that and much more where? The Balancing Act starts right now. Stay with us. In the past, women seeking breast implants were forced to choose between saline that provided peace of mind, right? Or the more realistic look and natural feel of silicone gel. But times have changed, they really have. Now, next generation technology is offering the benefits of both so women can feel beautiful and secure. It's fantastic. Here to tell us more are board certified plastic surgeons, Doctors Constance Baroni and Claire Dougal. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you so much. Great to have you. All right, so I think this is a really important conversation because I technology has really changed when it comes to implants. That's uh, absolutely would you agree, right. Dr. Yeah, Baroni? It's exciting. And, and people not only want a good choice, but the right choice. And they want a safe choice. And a safe choice. That's absolutely right. And things are changing? They are very much changing. We're here to show you some new technology in breast implants, saline versus silicone, what can happen with both. We're going to discuss some of those statistics today, which are exciting. Now, I know you brought an example here, Dr. Dougal and Dr. Baroni. Here we have a ruptured silicone implant, correct? A lot of people sometimes just concerned about rupture. There's another word that I read here, big word that I'd love you to talk about, capsule contracture. Those are just risks involved, right, Dr. Dougal? Yeah, you're right. And um, so both rupture and capsular contracture are two risks that can happen during breast augmentation or implant-based surgery and they can happen with all types of implants. All right, we have an example here. Dr. Baroni, tell me what this is and what so actually occurred. So this is a silicone implant, and this has a open area that has ruptured. <gasps> Look at and that, we show that again. you can see that this is very sticky and very difficult to remove surgically. So when it ruptures, it's, it's very difficult to remove all the silicone. And you can see how sticky it remains and that is why the FDA has said we want women who have gotten silicone implants to get an MRI at three years and every two years thereafter and also to change out their silicone implants every 10 years. And this is obviously something that women have to keep in mind, right, Dr. Dougal, because of the facts that this can happen. Yeah, absolutely. I think that implants in general are not meant to be lifetime devices or in you, and so it's important to have them monitored and checked. Um, to make sure that they're still working. Dr. Baroni, you mentioned an FDA, and there is a trial that I'd like you to share with our viewers that I think really puts this all in numbers and in perspective. Yeah, share that with them. This is the eight-year FDA clinical trial. And what they showed in primary breast augmentation patients, a capsule contracture rate of 6.6%. .6 now, compared to the gels, they go up anywhere from 10.9% to 16.2%. What does that mean? That means scar tissue forming around the implant. And sometimes if you get that silicone leakage, it becomes calcified. They also looked at a deflation or a rupture rate. And with the ideal breast implant, it's 2.1% versus the other companies. All right, so let's just get into the ideal implant, yeah. Dr. Dougal. Why don't you tell us what it is and how it's just changed the whole panorama? So I think probably the most important word is that it's a very different implant. So this is a new category of breast implant. It's called a structured implant. And instead of just having a single outer shell, like a traditional saline implant. That's Which would be this one right exactly here. Exactly, right there. So when that's filled with salt water or saline, the, water, the, um, the saline can move freely, like almost like a water balloon. So it didn't have a particularly natural feel. This ideal implant is a series of implant shells that are nested together. Oh. And those shells create two chambers within the implant, and that separates the saline so that it is, it is more controlled how the movement is. 
And, and the, that, Dr. Dugo, I think is on the set as well. Can you absolutely. show us that as well? Yep. So this is that new technology of a series of nested shells. What the most important thing about what this does is it really provides support to the outside of the implant so you get less rippling. <gasps> you have a more natural feel. What a difference. Dr. Baroni, any feedback from patients in terms so, of how they feel? And Absolutely. When patients come in to see me, I present all options to them. And I talk to them about the fact that here's a silicone implant, what the FDA recommends with that. I show them the old saline implant. Mm -hmm. And what people never liked about this implant was the fact that it felt like a balloon. It wasn't belaudable. It didn't have that soft feeling like you see with silicone. Also, if you deflate because it fills with one valve, you're flat just like this. Completely. And that doesn't instill confidence. So with the new ideal implant, there's a fill tube in the front and in the back. So a complete deflation would be incredibly uncommon. Honestly, what I see here, Dr. Dougal, is peace of mind. Uh, absolutely. These are FDA approved in the United States and also in Canada, but I've had patients travel from overseas, from Europe, where it's not available just because for them this feels like the right choice. Thank you so much, ladies. Great information, and I do want to share with our viewers, if you'd like more information on this new technology, it's Ideal Implant. Dot com. That's idealimplant.com or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. That I find to be really Did you know that over 6 million kids suffer from food allergies in the U.S.? So finding allergy-free options that taste great can really be a struggle. But today... You're going to be surprised because we've got something fantastic. Nate Fisher, founder of Julia's Table, is here to share some tasty options that both kids and adults are going to enjoy. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, you know, before we get to this fabulous spread that you have here, I feel sometimes so bad when my friends come over with their children and the children come over and I always ask, anybody have an allergy? And some yeah. kids will raise their hands and they have their little bags. And I feel bad because when I serve in the table, I want everyone to eat. I want yeah. everybody to come to my table and eat with us yeah. and they're eating something different because they're suffering from an allergy. You feel bad for Stephanie. Uh, yes, and you know this all too well too because it hits home. It does. My mother was diagnosed as a celiac in the early 90s. So for her it was a struggle? How was it growing up? It was hard because she felt bad because she couldn't eat. We had to eat food that wasn't that good. So you founded mm. Julia's Table obviously because of the passion that you had for your mom and the passion that she had for food. Yes. And something else that I want to read to um, our viewers, mm. she had a wish, oh, this is so sweet, <laughs> to be able to eat a meal just like everyone eats at the table. That is just, you wanted to fulfill that wish, didn't you? Yes. I just wanted her to feel like she could have all this together and we could eat together and have the same kind of food. Right. So hence, Julia's table. Yes. Right? And we're sitting Absolutely. or we're standing at Julia's table today. Um, tell me what sets you apart because you said it. Growing up as a kid, it was like, ugh, you know, like you struggled to eat the foods that she had to eat, but not Gross. this. No. What we wanted to do, our first goal and objective is it's got to taste good. It's got to taste good. And the other thing we did that's super hard is we took all the allergens out of it. All of them, not just gluten? Government says there's eight allergens that are recognized, so we're allergen free. So it obviously helps with the inclusivity at the table, but yes. how do you make it taste good then if you're taking all that out? Well, listen, we have people that are passionate. We've spent enormous amount of time and energy making sure it tastes good. I kept coming back, doesn't taste good, doesn't taste good, done. And I drove people crazy, and so did our team. We, were, we've, we, we just have a passion because all of us are touched in some way. Okay, so let's put it to the test. Okay, we have a, what is this, a sweet potato? Sweet potato, right from the earth. Love that, all right? Usually they're hard, oh, look, look at that. Look at that, I mean, okay. they can dance. I like that. Okay, what are we gonna make? All right, so we're gonna make this something super simple. Because mm -hmm. we're all on the run, right? Yes. It's busy life. A little barbecue sauce, Okay. put it on any way you want. All right, I just kinda just Yeah, just go for it. Yeah. Just glob it on, on in there. Okay. You know what I mean, just spread it around. Okay. Like and this. Then? I'm doing circular motions. Mm. And then get the cheese. All right. We just have some mozzarella. Now, it can go without cheese, too, you know, but I like cheese. I like cheese. Okay. Yeah. I like then, lots of cheese. Me, too. And then just move that in there. And then chicken. So chicken, okay. And then just pop, plop the chicken I'll in there to your liking. A little protein there. Yeah. Depends. All right. And now the rolling is going to be, oh, look how there, soft. Yeah, you just kind of roll. 
Look at that. And I bet you mm -hmm. our viewers out there are saying, oh, wow, look how soft they are. You're probably expecting this to be hard and not good. Huh? Yeah. Look at that. Just look it's at that. It's not even cracking. No. It's beautiful. Okay, you actually heated one up for me. So Absolutely. while I grab it here, because then you could put it in a little pan and kind of, you know, show me what Make else you have. Make it almost like a chimichanga. Oh, there you go. Okay, what is this here? Chocolate almond butter that we made. It's super easy uh, with some strawberries mm. on it. I mean, it's so good. With your white bread. Yeah. Again, allergen free. Allergen free. Fantastic. Yes. Cookies. Cookies. We have a, a cranberry oatmeal right there, and it is so good. Mm. Snickerdoodle, chocolate chip, and it's so good. Mm, great for school parties. All the kids could eat. Oh my gosh, this is really huh? good. Do you like that? Mm. It almost makes you happy. And mm. food it's should soft, make you happy. It's sweet. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Okay. And brownies. Brownies. Look at those That's things. That's perfect when the kids come over. Everybody can have it. Can so, I tell you someone that loves yeah. brownies in the studio? Who's that? Poor, poor guy. I'm going to. Cameron, my photographer. He loves it. You want to grab one? All right. Let's see if the taste. What do you think? Good? Legit? Can you believe it's allergen free? It... Take another <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think the bottom line here is, number one, it's great to just know that everybody can come to the table and eat together yeah. and eat the same thing. Mm -hmm. And to provide something that tastes good for those people that suffer. Six million kids suffer yeah. from allergies. And now they can have something that's actually really good. That I, I have no allergies, and this is fantastic. Isn't that great? And there you go, and there you have it. All right. For our viewers who'd like more information, where can they go? Any of your bakeries or delis at your grocery stores. Mm -hmm. And check us out on juliastable.com. Julia Tip. Your mom would be so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, so <laughs> sweet. And if you'd like to know more, you can go to our website, and that's thebalancingact.com. I promise you, it's fantastic. It's really good. <laughs> Not bad. some startling statistics and truly listen to this there have been 1.6 billion records exposed in data breaches since 2005 on average there are three data breaches a day exposing consumers personal information and putting them at risk for identity theft here with more is scott herman he is the ceo of idiq the parent company of the identity iq brand a company truly dedicated to monitoring and protecting our credit and our identities. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. You know, with those statistics, I mean, the bottom line is the bad guys are out there. They're out to truly, and I really, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say, you know, trash your credit and destroy your life. They are, absolutely. And the stats that you just read, that just shows Awful. you. Awful. I mean, at this point, I can tell you for sure, your identity has been stolen. Mm -hmm. And now it's only a matter if the criminal chooses to use it or not. You actually gave me a great example before we started this of one gentleman that you knew who was pulled over for a speeding ticket and he ended up going to jail for a crime he didn't commit? Yeah, that actually happened. And so, so an identity thief had got a new, a new driver's license with this person's name on it and they were, they were arrested for a crime and they used that driver's license and then of course they you know, made bail and left. And this, this poor guy got pulled over for a speeding ticket going seven miles an hour speed limit, and then was arrested on an outstanding warrant. Can you imagine that? And we're not just talking, Scott, you know, just Social Security. They do it in many ways. It affects even where you live. Explain that to our viewers. Well, so, I mean, the thieves will get your information for a lot of different ways. Data breaches, we covered that in the opening. But they will dig through your trash. They will steal your mail out of your mailbox. I'm from the Midwest, and we write our, our, our bills, and we put it in the mailbox, put a red flag up, telling an, an identity thief that here is ding, ding. Know, a, a check with a routing number and a checking account number and probably the credit card bill or home equity like credit that you you know you have that numbers in there now too and they have all that information that quickly and easily and then they'll build an identity and they'll open new accounts in your name my goodness okay so what can we do to protect ourselves well i think one the education we talked about and our site has tons of free education on it and people can see that and go to it and uh, there's good content there and the other thing too is just you got to monitor your, your identity and monitor your, your credit and how do we do that with your company what's it called so uh, it's identity iq identity iq how does it work so it's pretty easy you sign up takes a couple of minutes to the process to sign up and then after that you're on our radar and so we're monitoring millions and millions of records it's everything from 3BR credit monitoring application monitoring dark web monitoring we are checking for change of addresses at the post office and the credit bureau level and so if anything suspicious shows up we can alert you and then you can say hey that that wasn't me I did not open that account 
And then after that, we step in and help you fix that incident or restore your identity. And if there's any out-of-pocket expenses, that's covered by our insurance. So whether it's legal fees, lost wages. Oh, that's great. Yeah, or even money stolen from your bank account, we'll reimburse you for that. What do clients say about the service? I think the biggest thing they say is it gives them peace of mind. Absolutely. They're not worried about it. Just someone's there in their corner to help them if there's an issue and that they won't have any expenses. Fantastic. For our viewers who'd like more information, and this is really something that is so prevalent, where can they go? So identityiq.com is our site. And for, for viewers of the show today, it's identityiq.com forward slash the balancing act. And that's 25% off. For oh my gosh, 25% yeah. off. Yes. I'll absolutely. say that one more time then. It's identityiq.com forward slash the balance and act and you get 25 percent off fantastic thank you so much thank scott you, appreciate your time and of course if you'd like more information you can always just go to our website thebalancingact.com and we'll direct you to their website as well he performs magic all the time in the kitchen and today is no exception our very own chef ralph is serving up some hearty fare take a look it's all about fast and simple meal planning this morning. Check out this pile we got over here. A slow cooker, a pressure cooker, a rice cooker, a saute pan. I even got a yogurt machine. But really, who needs five or six different appliances? Who's got storage space for all that? That's what's so magical about this Magic Chef multi-cooker. It does it all. We've got nine cooking methods in one. Pressure cook, slow cook, rice, steam, yogurt, sous vide, cake, and you can keep everything warm. And everything you need comes with it too. There's mitts, ladle, a cup, a spoon, extra gasket, a steam rack, a glass lid, plus this quick guide function cheat sheet and recipe book. Everything you need to create some magic in your kitchen. Today, I'm starting off with some hearty wintry fare, and it's an easy recipe for the whole family. This is turkey chili, right? I'm starting off right now with the bean chili button going on, and I am going to start doing some cooking. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to my magic chef. It's from one magic chef to another. And I'm gonna add onions. You hear that sizzle? That's how you know cooking's happening right now. Now I've got some peppers, some celery, and a little bit of garlic. This recipe really shows how perfect the Magic Chef multi-cooker is for this cold weather, baby. I use the Magic Chef for all my family gatherings. When I'm watching football, anytime I want some delicious food in my kitchen, the Magic Chef is in the kitchen with me. I've got my vegetables going. Now let me add my turkey to the party. And the turkey goes in here. I'm gonna add some oregano, some cumin, a little bit of chili powder, my beans, hence the bean button, some chicken stock, and a dose of diced up tomatoes. I'm gonna stir it around. Load it and leave it. The Magic Chef takes care of the rest. Right over here, we have a delicious pot roast and a four cheese mac and cheese, all made with the touch of a button. The Magic Chef, again, has 14 electronic presets for easy and practically one-touch cooking convenience. You can make soups and broths, meat and stews, beans and chili, make rice, multi-grain. You can make oatmeal in here, slow cooking. And what if it's your birthday? You want a birthday cake? Boom, it can happen in here. How about you feeling healthy? Huh, why don't you use the steam function? And if you want to put a little bit of color on your food, use the saute sear function, and you can expect your food to be GBD. That's a strict culinary term for golden, brown, and delicious. A true American classic, Magic Chef has been making cooking easier for 90 years. With all this talk about chili, <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm ready for some. Wow. I tell you what, I could bob for this chili right now. It smells great. I got the turkey and the beans in here. Everything goes over here. Let's bring it over here to my relish station. I've got a little bit of cheddar cheese I'm gonna put on top, some green onion, I like a little bit of sour cream on top of my chili. How about you? You like a little bit of sour cream on top of your chili? Oh man, look at that. A little bit of fresh cilantro. Are you ready to eat? These sexy and functional babies are hard to live without and you can get yours at homedepot.com. You can always get more information from our website, thebalancingact.com. I'd like you to remember, this has been a quick bite, but chew slowly. That's some good chili. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember to head to our Facebook page and our website and follow us on Twitter. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Julian Olga. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. So long. You know you have Ralph? Ralph? I want Ralph. Yeah. That, wow. I, I think I'd rather have yeah. Ralph. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
cook for me. 